Hi listeners, welcome back to Thursday and it's so the 50 Thursday. A big sponsor shout out goes to Tatiana School of Couture as she launches her online sewing workshops. Use the link on the Daily Series podcast to hop over to Tatiana's website and book in. So today we have a really special guest. We've got Kathy who is a so over 50 stalwart. Hi Kathy. Hello, how are you? Good. I'm hoping that you're having a really good day today. Well, it is a beautiful sunny day here in Vancouver. I actually live in Richmond, which is just across the bridge from Vancouver. And and, uh, it's a beautiful warm day. Excellent. Thanks for joining us. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for having me. We begin by talking about how Kathy started her sewing journey. Well, I used to sew a lot when my children were young, and then I had a long, long gap. And then I read an article in a newspaper about a a sewist uh, from Halifax in Canada, actually. And it was about her and then Instagram. And I had been on regular Instagram, and I started going and checking out some of these sewists she mentioned. So I thought, wow, this is really great. This is no, and then it wasn't too long after that that I guess the socialists I saw them, and then they were starting to have the so over fifty, and that was a whole new world, and it just opened my eyes to so many more people sewing, and I had just been starting to sew many more garments, and yeah, just and then after I think it was last summer, I had tested a pattern for true bias, and Jane, her handle is Jenny Raven. <laughs> I tested a pattern for True Bias, and it was that pattern I was wearing that Jane made me a style icon in her posts about icons. So that opened up a whole new world of followers and people to follow and more inspiration. Last September, my husband and I were planning a trip to Scotland, and I was able to connect with Judith and then found out that they were having Edinburgh Frock Tales on October the 5th, I think it was, and I had my husband juggle our holiday a little bit to accommodate that, which was good. So that was just a dream to be able to, Judith met me at my hotel and we went for a walk and for coffee and to a weaving studio and it was just lovely and that was a couple of days before the frock tails. And then of course frock tails was so wonderful and I hooked up with many of the sober 50 soloists and the young ones too. It was just lovely to meet people in person and now we can, when we chat on Instagram or look at each other's posts you know who you're exactly who you're talking to because you've met them in real life so it, it was really a great experience it would have been more memorable than your usual holiday oh for sure and it was near the end so I was just sort of that whole build up we'd been in Scotland for four weeks and then Brocktails was the culminating <laughs> event so so did you take anyway. a specific outfit for Brocktails I did. I made the Amalfi dress by Hey June Handmade Patterns, and uh, it was lovely, and it, it packed well. <laughs> we try to travel as light as we can, so I had the dress packed in there and a little pair of flat shoes, which was a good thing because I ended up walking home at midnight or whatever from the venue back to my hotel. <laughs> so, what an yeah. exciting day. Well, yeah. so, uh, it would have been such a full day. Yes. So since you've met Judith and some of the so over 50 people and other sewers in Scotland, if anyone was contemplating following the so over 50 account, what would your advice to them be? Oh, I would say yes, and follow them in a heartbeat and, and interact. Everybody is so friendly and helpful. Even yesterday, I uh, DM'd Sandy about a, a headband that she'd made for her granddaughter, and it wasn't in the, the highlights that they shared. And she wrote back immediately and told me all about it. And yeah, and the more you interact and comment, and the more you get back as well. Do you see their stories as being a useful resource to you? Oh, for sure. Yeah, the way they have patterns saved and highlights is great. And Sandy's whole little thing about stories, because I'm not that good with <laughs> Instagram stories, and she prodded me along and said, well, you know, do do this, just try a little, and I'm trying to do a little bit of it. You know, she even gives little tutorials on how to use the stories. <laughs> 
So, but yeah, all the things they've got saved in the highlight and they're focused on so over visible and the patterns is wonderful. It's wonderful to see pattern companies choosing older models. Oh, and I was a model for uh, Helen's Closet. There you go. So uh, I'm one of them. <laughs> that, and it's just another aspect of it to connect. It, you know, it's such a global community. It's just so wonderful to here you are in Australia and <laughs> you're just having a little chat about sewing. It's great. I know. And I think what it provides people with sewists, whether they're in their sewing room, is that they can still connect with people globally, as you said, and talk about anything within sewing or other things as well. Yes, and it's been especially nice during this isolation time. We were caught being away and had to come home early from a holiday early on and in mid-March, and we started doing that two weeks of absolute quarantine. And so it, it is nice to have people that you can still connect with about well, your hobby. <laughs> that's great. A lot of people are not really aware of the effect of being in total isolation is, and you've experienced mm. that, but you've gain something through being connected with people on mm -hmm. Instagram and so the 50. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And it's wonderful to have, I mean, you know, you do with sewing, if you get really involved in a project, you're kind of just into it all by yourself anyway. So I guess it's not too much of a stretch to have some time to do that. <laughs> exactly. Are there any final thoughts you'd like to give our listeners about your experience with Sew Over 50? Interact, check out the site, check out the highlights. And there's so many of them have such a wonderful sense of humor. Some of the hosts lighten your day. <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah. Thank you again, Kathy, for giving us your time on the daily series of So Organized Style for So the 50 today. Well, thank you for having me. It's been a real pleasure to chat with you. Thanks, Kathy. <laughs>